Multi-robot systems consist of multiple autonomous robots that coordinate to perform complex tasks. Each robot makes decisions based on its worldview, which is an internal representation of the robot's state and its belief about the state of other robots and of the environment. However, when robots' worldviews falls out of sync, robots can take uncoordinated decisions. For instance, two robots doing the same task. Operators face the difficult task of making sense of the robot's scheduling decisions and detecting and pinpointing the cause of the desynchronization by comparing every robot's worldview. To address these challenges, we designed a visual analytic system named Mosaic Viewer through a year-long collaboration with roboticists and operators at NASA JPL. The system consists of two components, main view and differential worldview comparison. To assist operators, the system uses a combination of shapes and interactions to track task completion. Operators can use differential worldview comparison, or DWC for abbreviation, to find the similarities and differences of each robot's worldview. DWC draws inspiration from the DIF algorithm, which is commonly used for text comparison, to highlight and emphasize the discrepancies among the worldviews. This allows the operator to quickly identify misbehaving robots or communication failures. To conduct a root cause analysis, operators can highlight selected robots they wish to inspect further and utilize the views from the main view to determine if the robot's location, distance, communication bandwidth, or any other variables could explain the desynchronization they determine in DWC. We report on a 12-person evaluation with domain experts at NASA JPL and find that the system supports worldview desynchronization identification and its root cause analysis. As a demonstration of the system, we present a case study of how operators can plan for corrective action when detecting a worldview desynchronization. The main view signals a desynchronization warning in the summary overview and DWC displays indications of robots disagreeing with each other's worldviews. Specifically in the communication panel, the operator notices there are two distinct sets of disagreements. Robots 0, 6, 7, 8, base station are out of sync with robots 1 through 5, and conversely, robots 1 through 5 are out of sync with robots 7 and 8. The operator suspects a bipartition in the communication network. To confirm why this is occurring with the other linked views of the system, the operator highlights robots 0, 6, 7, 8, and base station. When rows in the communication network panel are highlighted, the immediate edges of the selected robots are highlighted in pink while the opacity of the other edges are lower. This allows the operator to notice two distinct clusters in the graph as well. All of the highlighted robots are placed at the left-hand side of the graph, while the rest are at the right-hand side. Inspecting the two clusters more closely, the operator sees there are weak communication bandwidth between the two clusters due to their physical distance. As such, robots would not be able to send data across the network and update each other's worldview, confirming the hypothesis of a bipartition in the communication network. As a second case study, we show how operators can evaluate the robot's scheduling performance. The summary view in the main view does not display a desynchronization warning, and DWC also does not show any disagreements. The operator concludes that the robot's worldviews are in sync and moves on to assess how many tasks are being performed and by whom. The operator looks at the task abstraction to obtain a high-level overview of the system's performance. The filled-in squares in the nav column indicates that the robots have accomplished a mandatory navigation task. From the graph, the operator sees that robots 1, 3, 5, and 6 are in sign zones as indicated with the dark gray rectangles where the robots are expected to accomplish three science tasks. However, the science column shows that robot 3 is the only robot that accomplished its three science tasks, while robot 5 has only accomplished two. The operator engages with the timeline and scatterplot to seek for the low-level details that explains why the other three robots failed to accomplish their three science tasks. Highlighting Robot 5 science tasks, the operator sees Robot 5 relocated its science task to Robot 4 for assistance. After the second task, Robot 4 is expected to send scientific data to the base station, denoted as ST. From the graph, the shortest path from Robot 4 to the base station is through Robot 8 or Robot 1. However, Robot 4 has a weak communication link to both robots and is unable to relay the data. 
This provides the insight as to why Robot 5 failed to accomplish its third science task. The operator analyzes Robot 1 and 6 next. The scatter plot shows that Robot 1's and Robot 6's battery level is only 50% meaning the computation time needed for their tasks will take longer compared to the other robots. For instance, the time Robot 1 needed to accomplish its three navigation tasks takes up the majority of its 30 second time frame. Evidently, Robot 1 and Robot 6 did not accomplish any science tasks as both needed more time to accomplish their mandatory navigation tasks before performing the science tasks. Thank you for watching.